Welcome to this week's Drax Looks Alive Rare video. How is it Tuesday already? The days, the weeks, the months, the years, they just pass us by in an instant. Anyway, we're back on the Jack Sucks Alive subreddit. We've got 182,000 members, 13 online. <laughs> Let's yell, calm down, everyone. How are we managing to make weekly videos on this subreddit? Top post of the week is the top post that was last week. Ah, because I was on all day last week, I recorded the last Reddit video on a Monday. So it's actually only been five days since I filmed, so some of the posts haven't updated yet. All right, well, this is going to be a fun one. Pulley explain one of Jack's videos, and I have to guess what it is. Okay, example, man looks at fabric for eight minutes. So that would be my how many flags can I find in London video. We have a 240 comments. I want to play along, but I'll probably just see his comments. Girlfriend abandons blindfolded man and drives away. <laughs> okay, that'll be GeoGuessr in real life. Let's see it. Yeah. A guy wanting us to fall asleep for his vids, but just wants money. All right, I assume that's my geography quizzes for you to fall asleep to. Which, fun fact, I've recorded another one of those. Boop, boop, boop. I like the money. <laughs> the last one's got 700,000 views. And as you can see, that is far more than all of the neighboring videos. Like, you know, three times as many. So maybe it could be a monthly series I do because obviously it earns quite a bit with it being so long. It's not too difficult to record. I quite enjoy just playing a few little quizzes and hopefully it actually does help people get to sleep because I know that I struggle to sleep now if I'm not listening to a podcast or something. So I assume lots of people are like me. Anyway, we need to guess some other descriptions. Two men on Discord look at ugly women for 13 minutes straight. Is that the... The Amazon dating video I did with Mini Mooka like four years ago. It is, yeah. <laughs> This description is missing context for the record. Jack watches circles beat each other in races. Circle. Oh, it'll be the marbles race. The Jack Sucks of Life marbles race. Yeah, there we go. A man puts on oversized hat to have another man tell him where to move. Ah, oh, blindfolded you, guesser. I was confused at first, but I got it. Man is hold a signed plate button with a human. The KSI video. Okay, fair enough. A grown man rolling around in his Tesla for 30 and a half minutes, sleeping overnight in my Tesla. We got the ball. Anyone else never seen the original Sam Swell's Apricot's picture? Well, I, of course, have. But yeah, this here, the duck, is the Samsung Zero God's profile picture. But it is cropped from this fan art that I was given by someone back in 2012, I guess. So a long time ago now. So yeah, this is meant to be me over on the left. It was drawn by a guy that I think his name was Hubba Bubba. But I've since tried to find his channel and he's deleted it and stuff. But yeah, crazy that that guy is still out there somewhere. Probably has no idea that I'm using this profile picture still. And my channels are considerably bigger than they were at that point in time. I remember we were friends on Facebook. That's how long ago this was. Saw this post last week. Saw this post last week. <laughs> Shorts now have an oldest tab. Oh, well, that's nice. I actually didn't know they didn't have an oldest tab. Ah, so this is my very first short. I remember editing these three myself. That's how long I've been doing shorts because I don't do any editing these days. So what? This was, I think, nearly three years ago now, seeing as I've still got slightly dyed hair from the Don't Subscribe Challenge. But let's give it a little This is what you get Jesus when you hit. Christ, Jack, that is so loud. Oh, Oh my god. 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Cool. But did you know before 2018, the silver play button... It's very basic. That was not a very nice arrow. I could have had a little shake or something. To 2016, the silver play button used to look like, like this. this. And if we could have added a shadow to the arrow and stuff as very well. Very lazy. Play button in 2013, it looked like this. Ah, I tracked the text away on that one though. Got a little bit fancy, didn't I? <laughs> All right, let's see a little loop. I think I'll do this a nice loop. This one's my favorite. Which do you like the most? This is what you get when you hit- So, yeah, the loop is kind of rewinding it. So, you know, loops, that was early days for loops. Definitely looks better just going, and now you know, and then doing the loop. All right, cool. Come a long way since that very first YouTube short. I can remember when I was first uploading these, people were turning their nose up about putting shorts on their main channel. I can remember, like, having a conversation with Will and E about it. But yeah, if you look at the comments on this first short, people are saying stuff like, did you mean to upload this to Jack Sucks at Clips? Isn't it strange how, like, just normalized shorts are now compared to two years ago? Jack actually gets the long channel name play button after three years, but everyone just prefers the blank one. <laughs> oh, it looks quite wonky when I look at it from this angle. I don't think it's actually that wonky. Oh, God. Here it is. The long channel name. Official. Get a good look at it. It's a tiny bit wonky, but I feel like it gets away with it. Look at the reflection. Those are my words. Yeah. Instead of the Mr. Beast space video, imagine we got this. I toured Society Awards featuring Mr. Beast and Rick. <laughs> Mr. Beast and Rick. Take Mr. Beast out of the picture. This is one of my dream videos. Touring the play button factory and meeting Rick. Of course, that would be incredible. Surely that has to happen. I don't know if I actually told you this, but Society Awards held a little exhibit in North Carolina, USA, where they showed off some of their most famous awards, and there was a YouTube awards section, which looks really, really cool. Take a 
look at this. So we have very recognizable things over here. But look, we also have PewDiePie Brofist Awards. So it's not the original. They've like recreated a bunch of them. Do you know that one that that fella found on eBay? This kind of proves that it could have been a recreation. We now know that that's something that Society Awards will do on occasion. And then over here, look, it's the T-Series 200ml award. We've never seen that in real life. So we've never got to see the scale of it before. And it's behind the 50ml Mr. Beast one they made and the Baby Shark Award as well. So yeah, Society Awards reached out and they very, very kindly and generously offered me an expenses paid trip to North Carolina to come and look at this in person. And they didn't even want me to do any videos or anything. They were just being nice and say thanks for all the videos I've done related to them, which is really sweet. But unfortunately, it was just too hard and long to get to just for the like one hour that we'd be there at the exhibit. And there wasn't too much in the area nearby. So I wasn't able to go, but it does show that Society Awards are interested in working with me in some way. And hopefully there'll be another opportunity like this in the future because this would have been really, really cool to see. Oh, this post's been disproven. First time I wore a white t-shirt in a thumbnail in four years. Uh -uh. The dream world record video. I've got a white t-shirt on. I can picture it right now. I don't even need to look at it. But still, quite rare to wear a white t-shirt. How interesting. Not interesting in the traditional sense, of course. What you first see when your dad answers your video call. <laughs> I just want it to be clear, right? That when I take a photo like this, I am doing it ironically, right? I think people think this is just how I think you should take a photo of yourself. I'm trying to be weird. Look at my chins, guys. Uh, Would you rather Jack Sucks at Life Edition? Oh, God, here we go. Dye your hair blue again or dye your hair orange again? But looking at the two, definitely I'd go with blue because it's just far more subtle. And <laughs> I didn't even dye my hair orange. I dyed it pink, all right? But after a week, it looked like that. That doesn't look good, does it? Let's be honest. Whereas the blue, it's like, yeah, that's okay. Lose a silver play button or lose 100,000 subscribers. Either would be fine. You know, I have 12 million subscribers combined now. I saw the stat yesterday when Becky was at it in a short. So I could afford to lose 100,000 subscribers. I could afford to lose a silver play button. I don't even know exactly how many silver play buttons are in this pile. Do you know what? Take them both. See if I care. No big deal to me. Get another 5 million subscribers. That's quite a big one. Or get access to any channel with 10 mil or under. Easy 5 mil. Then I will literally have just short of 10 million subscribers on Jack Sucks at Life. You know, I can get the last 500k. Obviously, I want that one. I'll have 10 million on my own channel and I could get a diamond play button. Why would I be bothered about that one? Subscribe to Jack Sucks stuff or like the video. I see what you're doing there. It's a little little interlude, a little bit of like cheeky promo. Pick one. You have to do one or the other. I don't mind which it is. Delete this video, the Mr. Be Space video, or delete Espanol. I would delete Espanol because I can have the audio tracks on the main channel now and I can't get rid of a video that's got 10 million views. It's like one of my most famous videos ever. Oh, subscribe. Subscribe to Pretty Woman Kitchen or Turd Boy. I'm subscribed to Turd Boy. He's the OG and I want to help him get to 420. Thanks for playing. Made by Norbit. Well, that was nice. Appreciate that. Good one. If you were in Jack's house, what would you do? Oh, God, here we go. You would cuddle Kong and get photos with Jack and Becky. Well, that's a wholesome answer, isn't it? No. <laughs> this one less wholesome. Okay. Steal the plant he humped. To be honest, you would be doing me a favor. It's up in the attic. I don't want it. It takes up loads of space. Maybe I should do it. <laughs> Should I do a competition where I do a giveaway of the plant that I humped? Would that be weird? Possibly. Jack reacts to a post I commented on that got a decent amount of upvotes, all right? But he doesn't look at the comments. Ah, well, cool. Let's move on. I tried to make a Jack thumbnail just for fun. Why do I keep forgetting about him? That's pretty solid. It's quite in keeping with the generic Jack Sucks and stuff style. We've got some random facts about countries inspired by the recent geography video. Go on, then. Uh, Morocco was the first country to recognize the USA. That's interesting. How weird. There must be context to that, but I had no idea. Sudan is the country with the most problems in the world. I did know that one. You would think it's Egypt, but no, it is Sudan. China has ownership of every panda in the world, even those born outside of China. Yeah, that one I knew as well, because they let Edinburgh Zoo borrow them but I think they had to give them back after 10 years. In 1866, Lichtenstein sent their army of 80 men into war. They came back as 81, having recruited a random person while suffering no casualties. Well, that's kind of cute, isn't it? And finally, in 1861, San Marino made Abraham Lincoln an honorary citizen. He accepted in a letter saying, although your dominion is small, your state is nevertheless one of the most honored in all history. Well, that's cute, isn't it? There were some cool facts. It's not related to me at all, but we'll allow it this one time. Jack, do you ever actually use the couch in the background of your videos? Oh, fine. Finally, we get to the real questions. I basically never sit on it unless I'm recording YouTube news. Becky does sit on it every now and then, but as you can see, 
it's often just full of crap because uh, I just have it as a good place to put stuff. We've had so many hammers. <laughs> it also is a sofa bed, so on occasion when we've had guests, people have slept on it. Coincidence! Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is unreal. I was so excited when I saw this. So if you've already seen my short, you know about this. But if we go to shorts and we click on this one about Danny stealing my play button, scumbag. If you look in the URL, we have the word poop. <laughs> and you've said coincidence because my most liked comment on YouTube is the word poop. Why have you unliked it? That is so, so rude. You horrible, horrible individual. But yeah, going back to this short, this is from not actually Danny, who stole my Jack Sucks Eclipse well, play button. What a scumbag. Well, I said in this short, if I get it to 10,000 subscribers, can I please have it back? And if we click on the video, we've got her to 13,000. I think she started at like 2k. So that's kind of mental. Then her follow-up, she threatened this. Four months for a real response, and I finally got one. You have two weeks to hold up your side of the deal. It took me two days, no biggie. She's threatened to throw it in the ocean. Yeah, look at that grip. Two hands, no risks being taken there. <laughs> delete Jack Sucks at stuff or delete Jack Sucks at geography. I think I've definitely answered this like 12 times, but at this point, I would delete Jack Sucks at geography. I enjoy stuff more. I think it's got more longevity. Would you press the button? Well, what does it do? It gets Jack Sucks alive to 20 mil, but I have to pour the cork on the floor. Yeah, I'll press it now. Do you know how much cash I could get if I had 20 million subscribers and they were active? Oh See you later. Coke bowl. Can you guess the terribly explained Jack Sucks Alive videos? Ah, similar concept to the start of the video. In what video does this happen? Jack struggles to do something because of a hurricane, the Queen's death, but then has McDonald's to celebrate. <laughs> okay, it's the Mr. Beast Space video. I like what you've done here. Okay, next one. In what video does this happen? Try to buy ads for a dying channel, end up just losing money in the end. It's the can YouTube ads save my dead channel? Let's see it. Yeah, that was too easy, that. Let's see some difficult ones. Child bullies a grown man. Grown man talks about pineapple and dropping. It's the Will's the King disc. Track. Come on, give me a challenge. In what video does this happen? Man says he had a solid 8 out of 10 sex experience. When did I say that? <laughs> oh, it's the um, changing comments, editing your comments to make me cancelled. Yeah, there you go. We got it. We got it. We got it. In what video does this happen? Someone falls off a bench. Is it funny Google Street View moments? Hell yeah, it is. And then finally, in what video does this happen? Why? The only thing I can think of is something to do with the long username. Let's see. What? <laughs> right, we're guessing videos from the pixelate thumbnail. Uh, this will be space and ooh, Doctor Who collection. Nice. Traffic on Tesla. Cool. Oh, that's uh, Sidemen World Records. Next is guessing, no, drawing logos from memory. EZ. I'm curious, was that easy because I made the thumbnails or will other people have got them? Only got two right, only got one, got two right. I got all of them. Truly blue too. Fair play. I recently found out my crush likes me, so I will ask my crush out using anything Jack says since it worked so well for that one guy. Please be nice. Ah, right. You need a chat up line. Say to them... Send that as a voice message. That's that's what I need. Okay, cool. Jack should bring back the one minute milk challenge. With a milk alternative, of course. No, no, thank you. I am not making that a thing. This is the kind of person I was when me and Becky started dating. And that makes me judge Becky a bit. <laughs> Jack takes pictures like a granddad and I love it. I'm doing it ironically. I've already made this clear, guys. You run out of videos to watch, panic. You remember, you can watch old videos. Oh, that's better. But then you've run out of old videos to watch. No way. Guys, I have 1,900 videos on Jack. Jack sucks at life alone. There's no way you've watched every single one of them. What's that? You haven't watched my tech at Minecraft series yet. What's that? You haven't watched Minecraft Bravest Miners episode 1 to 5? Get on it, bro. What's that? You haven't watched the mystery of the Timekeeper adventure map? You haven't watched my Wincraft series? You haven't watched my how to get custom player heads in Minecraft tutorial 1.5.2? Get on it, bro. That content's waiting for you. <laughs> Am I crazy or did the thumbnail change? Uh, you are... Crazy. I thought this was another Reddit video at first. It was actually a deliberate ploy to manipulate you. Sometimes when I do the mini game Thursday videos like this one, they don't get as many views as the Reddit video. So I thought, well, if this ambiguous video comes out where it's like, is that a Reddit video? Is it a game? I'm hoping people will click it anyway. And it seems to have slightly worked because it's got okay views in the first day. You're going to take legal action, Jack. There is a pretty woman beauty salon. Well, there's no mention of kitchens there, so I will allow it. Thank you. When somebody asks me who Jack's looks alive, 
life is, I will show them this picture. It's a weird picture. I got some weird looks taking this image. It's the shriveled Voldemort, though. That is a photo op if I've ever seen one. Some TikToker made Jack a flag. How do we feel about it? This is on a flag for Jack Sucks at Life because you guys won't shut the fuck up about him in my comments. <laughs> so I want to start with just three vertical stripes. I'm thinking we go right. with a blue for his main channel, a cool. yellow for his second channel. He subscribed. Channel, he subscribed to stuff as well. He's acting he casual about it, but he's a bigger fan than the commenters. We'll okay, so far, something. very ugly flag. I've got to get a little play button symbol, haven't I? I'm going to makes toy sense, around here sense. with some different things. Maybe a little triangle like that. So I know the play button is meant to be facing kind of that way, but I think kind of like it works Lucia. triangle in the middle. And that's also kind of a reference to the St. Lucia flag that he likes. But obviously I'm he missing knows. out his he most knows. iconic YouTube channel here. Yeah, I think this is the right shade of Third pink. boy. And then we've obviously got to get a T in there for It looks quite boy. good now, just... in a horrible, horrible way. I'm figuring out if we're missing something here. I mean, there's the Tesla channel, but that's not really active anymore. But I suppose it is a big part, so I think maybe we can just add some wheels to this triangle. Maybe <laughs> Yeah, that's, like that. that's what there. we need. Yeah, do you know what? I like that. Let's just duplicate that on the other side. Yeah, I like that. New Jack sucks at life flag. Overall, it kind of works. I sped this part up, and now I can't stop laughing. Hopefully, taking these little pictures. Look at me. He's just having such a good time in that one. Oh, he's like, that's not ideal. And this one, he's like, wait, what are you kidding? This one, he's like, oh, damn, they don't care. This one, he's like, whoa, that's crazy. This one, he's like, this one, he's like, this one, he's like, I don't know why I'm doing that face. I don't know why I'm going to use that. <laughs> Thanks for that. Jack, will the trading cards be global or UK only? They will be global. Pretty much every country, I assume. I would have to fact check that. But yeah, they'll definitely be available in most countries. And we are about halfway through the design process now. It's very exciting. I have found my four-year-old Reddit post. Some lovely fan out lol. I know it's the worst ever. Get your lovely merch at jacksonslife.shop. Does that still exist, that website? I think someone else has bought it. That merch store closed down prematurely because the company that made the merch went into liquidation and, like, closed down and deleted all all of their contacts and kept some of my money that I was owed. <laughs> but regardless of that, what a delightful bit of fun art. Thank you for drawing that four years ago. <laughs> if you met Jack, what would you ask him? Well, I can probably answer some of those questions right at this very moment. I would probably ask him for a photo. I'd say, I love his videos. Well, that's nice. You can do that if you ever see me. <laughs> I'd ask for one of his YouTube letters signed. Yeah, because I carry them around with me at all times. Jack doing normal Reddit videos. Jack doing a draw tour. Brackets are full one. <laughs> Would you like to do a tour of my drawers? We have quite a few drawers. We've got this white unit, and then I've got this black unit. That's like eight drawers or something. Could be pretty crazy, guys. Let me know if you want to see that. If Jack was a clone, how did he do so well in remembering all of those no-context moments? Well, not that I want to encourage people thinking that I am a clone of the original Jack, but a good clone would have the original Jack's memories. So, you know, I'm just saying. How much geography does Kaino since he edits the Jack Sucks of Geography videos? I think he's taken a bit in. Definitely more than he knew to begin with. I think he did a video on his channel seeing how many flags he knew just from editing my videos. Jack, I think you should get a 3D printer. That'll allow you to create all sorts of little things, even custom 3D printed play buttons. I would love to, but I just don't have enough space in this house. But future house, yes, I'll do lots more stuff like that. Is Jack wearing his headphones backwards, or have I never seen his office the right way? Uh, I always wear my headphones backwards, because my computer's over there, and I don't like when the wire comes over me like this. I, I prefer the wire to be kind of less intrusive just on this side. But I never know that they're the wrong way around. It's cool. Jack, it might be time to spend some credits. News, Tesla has added a cyber hammer to its referral program for a whopping 35,000 credits. It has a laser etching of Fran's signature. Only 800 were built. I was very excited when I saw this because that's a cool rare Tesla thing that I could make another video on and the first credits video did really well. But when I look at my app, it's not there. So I'm thinking maybe it's just a US thing, which is really, really sad because I wanted me signed hammer. 35,000 credits, it's only really YouTube. YouTubers that can afford that as well, so they're, they're, they're ha, I want the hammer, guys. Got my Paris by Rick card. You know I gotta carry it around all day. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Congrats on your play button, and more importantly, got Paris by Rick card. That's a nice place to carry it. I would do the same if I had a transparent phone case. Jack, why was this the thumbnail for Angry Birds in real life before 2016? Do you think Ellie still has access to EJ Saf? Okay, this is the current thumbnail, and this apparently was the previous one. I don't think that was the previous one. I think that's the default thumbnail. I know that this is a thumbnail that I stole off Google Images, presumably in 2016. I would have thought it was earlier. Previously, there was another custom thumbnail that I made, but I guess it's just been lost to the internet now. But when I saw this one, I updated it. I guess I just thought it would get more views. Quite a cheeky thing for me to do, though, seeing as this is literally someone else's thumbnail. This is Big Daddy, the Big Daddy official playlist. Sheen, this is the seventh week in a row you've shown us Big Daddy in class. We don't hear enough about Big Daddy these days. Big Daddy was a big part of this subreddit series for several 
several weeks. And I'm going to be honest, guys, we need to keep the meme going because there's a big daddy trading card. <laughs> they probably won't be out for a few months. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years, Jack? Honestly, I have absolutely no idea. I really, really don't know. I would hope that I would still be doing YouTube in some way, but I think just perhaps in a more relaxed way and probably very different content to what I'm doing now. But yeah, I actually have literally no idea. I drew dragon video games. Oh, I love these posts. So this is me in the style of that's not my name. It looks absolutely unreal. This is Undertale. Once again, very cool. And finally, Fran Bo. Each one of those looks so good. Look at little Kong. These are really, really clever. I, I like them a lot. Can you answer at least one question from this in today's video? My 2000 subscriber Q&A. Okay, sure. Why did you stop making videos on Sand Smells of Apricots? I think it just stopped because my GCSEs were coming up and I kind of thought I should maybe focus a bit more on them. And then it was just difficult to get back into. And I suppose I probably felt like when I was at college, I was maybe a bit old to be making sketches where I'm being chased by a guy in a duck mask. But to myself 10 years later, I say you're never too old to make sketches of yourself being chased by a fella in a duck mask. If that's what you want to do, go for it. Words to live by. On that note, I am going to end off this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Subscribe and I will see you later. Bye, 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 bye.